more likely to be on the 49ers next season, Josh Rosen or Jimmy Garoppolo, and why? Um, so I said, and this might be controversial, I don't know, but I said Rosen just because I think with Mullins' health security, I think Rosen takes on that Mullins role where he's the high upside, take high for what you will, upside backup that can be behind a veteran. He'll either be the second or third stringer, depending on if they draft a quarterback early on. And I think he'll be relatively cheap. So I think Rosen's much more likely just because, I I mean, we've talked about a lot. I think Garoppolo is talented, but I think his salary cap situation will be a casualty just because they need to free up money somewhere. And I think he's the best spot to do that. So Rosen. Yeah, well, Rosen as well, because I think Jimmy Garoppolo is a goner. I think his time is done. Um, I'm not a Jimmy hater. I like the guy. I like the idea of having a movie star quarterback, but it's just that's the situation. Hates Jimmy Garoppolo. He's a nice guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People take. I don't know why people take it as that. Yeah, um, no one hates Jimmy. <laughs> so I would say Rosen and a lot that Mav has been on this team for so long, and he's been a starter on this team. I mean Nick Mullins. Sorry. Um, it's because he's the smartest quarterback in the room compared to Shanahan, mm -hmm. and Rosen is a smart guy. Uh, he has to be because he went to the same school as Grant, and <laughs> I believe both his parents went to Ivy League schools. In and he's a Jew. He's a Jew. <laughs> Which I like. I mean, he, he's, he's a smart kid. Hard. So if, huh? if Shanahan just has him in there as a reserve role QB two, I think Shanahan's just gonna like him as far as the student aspect of the game, similar yeah. to Mullins. Plus, he's one of the chosen people, which I don't think could hurt. The chosen Rosen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we've got to put one of those two guys on the on the team, I'm going to be going with Garoppolo. Uh, Ro Ro Rosen, Rosen couldn't even beat out uh, – uh, what's the guy's name? Blaine Gabbert in, in uh, yeah. Tampa Bay to be the backup. So seeing him be the – if he's the backup on the 49ers next year, uh, we've got really big problems, in my opinion. <clears throat> Good point. Nick, what do you think? Well, the 49ers kind of control the destiny of both Josh Rosen and Jimmy Garoppolo. Josh Rosen's a restricted free agent. I was on spot track doing a little research right before we went live. So Rosen's a free a restricted free agent. So they can kind of control where he goes. And then Jimmy Garoppolo is still under contract. If I had to pick one of the two to be on the roster next year, I'd go with Rosen because my main question with Jimmy Garoppolo is if not now, when? He clearly has his limitations as a quarterback. They're in a prime spot right now to rip off the Band-Aid and move on from him. So I think the team will take advantage of that. Garoppolo's not coming back. But for the same reason Maverick touched on, Rosen's the higher upside backup. So I think Rosen has a better chance of being on the roster in 2021 next season than Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm going to weasel out of this question. I'm oh, going to say stop. neither one's going to be on the team next year. No, you yeah. can't do that. That wasn't the question, though. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to say Rosen has a better chance to be on this team yeah. because Jimmy's not going to be on this team next year. Yeah. Jimmy yeah. is going to be on the Patriots next year. I'm saying that. And if Rosen wants to be on, like, the practice squad or something, sure, dude, you can be on the practice squad. But the Niners need three quarterbacks, and I don't think he's – I don't think he's going to that. This is what I think. Blah, 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 blah. This is what I think. I think they're going to draft at least one quarterback. You draft a quarterback in round one, round two. You sign a guy like Andy Dalton, and then you draft another quarterback who can run. I don't see what you need Josh Rosen for. As 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 Jack said, the guy couldn't beat out Blaine Gabbert. There was something seriously wrong with Josh Rosen. Yeah. And if you go back and look at him at UCLA, he wasn't. He, I watched UCLA football because I have nothing better to do, and I went there. And he oh. was never that great. He was he was he would have a, a moment. He would have a game. He was he was okay. Something about him, and I think something about his person. I think people really, really, really dislike him. I don't know right. what it is. You could weasel out of this one. It's fine. You say either you, one. You no on this. What I'm going to ask you, you could weasel out of it if you want. You said Jimmy to New England. Do you believe that'll be he'll be cut and signed there, or do you believe Belichick will trade for him? I don't know what their cap space is. Does anyone know? Should I look no, it up real they, quick? They have a ton. They have a ton. Well, they could afford to trade. I don't know. 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 I, maybe, I, ah, what do you think, Nick? Help me. I, Someone well, tell me. I, I also have a, a follow-up question to this question. Yes. What is Jimmy Garoppolo's trade value? Right now, I right. feel like it's at an all-time low, and I've seen – Leo, you're included in this, and I kind of uh, – as far as seeing Jimmy Garoppolo as an asset that this team can kind of pawn off 
get some sort of draft capital back for. I see his draft stock at an all-time low. An all-time low. He was, or I'm sorry, not his draft stock. His his, his trade, trade value. Is, his and trade is, it value. Of, is it because of his his contract? Is that an immovable contract? Kind of. no, I don't I don't and think then, it's a movable because if you look you, at the contracts that quarterbacks are receiving in the NFL right now, it's going to continue to look like a decent contract. It will, and then you, you have to take into consideration the cap and how it's fluctuating and it can drop down to $175 million, might be $195 million. But my question, though, is what is Garoppolo's trade value? Is does it, he have trade value? Does he have trade value? That's why if he's healthy this weekend, he has a chance for two weeks to showcase what he – can bring to the table. And I was getting in a couple debates on this on Twitter. Why would you not give Garoppolo two games to perform well and maybe boost up his trade value? Or you can just cut him outright. I guess Jack, the concern the there is the, the injury, the, the injury loophole where if he's injured past a certain date, he gets $7.5 million. Is that why you don't take any chances and don't play him if he's healthy? I don't well, think it's like that. I think, yeah. dude, I think if I had to guess, I think he's he doesn't want to play. If I had to guess, I think he's shutting himself down, not the other way around. They're paying yeah. him, so where it makes it tough for a trade is I, I looked at who has caps currently. Obviously, teams could maneuver that and afford space, but as it sits right now, the only two teams that could afford him in a trade are Jacksonville, New England, and Jacksonville could end up with Trevor Lawrence, so they won't need Jimmy. And then New England, Bill may be able to say, hey, I don't want to pay him that much money. It would be, what, $25 million? I don't want to pay him that. I would trust my relationship with Jimmy to get him as a free agent for mm. maybe less than $20 million. Well, if Jack, what do you think? think? Well, if you're New England and you're going to make that trade for Garoppolo because you think that he's going to be good enough to be your starter, mm -hmm. he only has two more years left on that contract. And where his, where his contract is, it's pretty flexible in order to be able to – Add years to that and, and write that cap number down for a year or two. So if you're going to make that trade and you want to keep him for for you know two to three you know past the two years, give him a new deal, give him some 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 new cash and 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 roll with them. That's what I think is going to happen. I think the Niners are going to trade him back to New England for like a fourth, a fourth. What do you think? I don't. These are going to lose that fourth. trade. They gave up a second. They they got to give it back for a fourth. They lost. I think they're gonna get a fourth. Yeah, yes. I, I could see it that way. Bill Belichick, even if he gave up a fourth, he would still feel like he won the Jimmy Garoppolo saga because yeah, he got a second. He did. Yeah, because he did because he won. Yeah, so I think a fourth. I think it's the best the Niners can do. Better than cutting him. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Anyone think they get a third for him? Hmm. I'd say fifth. Fifth is a, is a, is a fourth a little optimistic? Maybe. I, I, I think fourth. Shannon would be fantastic if he got a fourth. He would jump on it. 